couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Refers. Welcome to the very first of the never-ending fingerstyle rhythm pattern series. And in never-ending, I do mean never-ending. I intend to teach you every fingerstyle rhythm pattern known to man, from beginner to intermediate to advanced. Every week, we're gonna alternate. This week, we're gonna start with beginner rhythm patterns. We're gonna learn six fingerstyle beginner rhythm patterns. Then next week, some intermediate patterns. Then the third week, advanced patterns. Then back to beginners. So we're gonna alternate. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. Beginner intermediate advanced every week to the end of time I promise you so let's start with the six beginner patterns the first one goes like this okay and we're gonna change some chords but first let's put a minor on and play the pattern you start with your thumb playing the fifth string the bass note of a minor and then you play strings three two three and then strings one, two, three, two. Okay, that's the pattern. Bass, and then three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Or the bass note, then G, B, G strings, then E, B, G, B. Okay, but I find calling string note names um, a bit confusing, so let's refer to them as strings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the bass note for A minor is 5, but if we want to experiment with this a bit, let's change from A minor to G to F to E, and I suggest we play this F, and not this F. So we experiment with um, practicing changing bass strings. So this F's bass string is the D string, the fourth string. So for A minor, it's the fifth string. For G, it's the sixth. For F, it's the fourth. And then for E, it's the sixth again. So that practices and exercises the thumb movement. So A minor, G, F, Now the next pattern starts out the same way. The A minor bass note again on five, and we do this bass note, three, two, three, and then one, then three, two, three again. Okay, so it's, okay, now try that with the chords. Three, two, three, one, three, two, three. accidentally played the bar chord, so again. Okay, now the next one is a bit simpler, but it creates a very nice melody. Play the bass note, then strings, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So... Okay? Kind of a scorpion's feel. Okay, bass, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Now the next pattern, the fourth pattern, is an ending pattern, meaning that if we're playing A minor, G, F, and E, we're gonna play it on E. And the pattern is the bass note, then strings, three, two, one, then again, bass note, three, two, one. So it's, got it? Bass, three, two, one, bass, three, two, one. Now we can play it with E, or we can leave F on for the fourth bar and play F for the first half and E for the second half. Okay? And then we get A minor, G, F, and then F, E. Got it? I was using the first pattern. G, F. Now leave F on and play bass 3, 2, 1, E. Bass 3, 2, 1. Or you can play it on E. Okay? 
just on E twice. Okay, you can take that bar and cut it in half and play F E or just E. So that's an ending pattern. After you've gotten used to this, let's learn the fifth pattern. The fifth pattern is this. Okay, it's got a wide interval there at the beginning. Okay, it's the bass note. And then strings 3 1, 3 1, 2 3 2. Okay, 3 1, 3 1, 2 3 2. Okay, or you can look at it like this 3 1, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay, any way that helps you remember. 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay, so. fifth pattern is in 3-4 time, meaning that you count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Up till now, we were in 4-4 four, four time. We counted 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Okay, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Okay, so this time we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now this is a very basic pattern. You play the bass note, then you play strings 1, 2 and 3 together. Okay, you play it twice, so it's bass, chord, chord, okay? With all three fingers together, so... Okay? So these are your basic patterns, your six patterns for now. Okay, now for those of you that stayed up to this point of the lesson, here's the bonus I promised you at the beginning of how to turn these six patterns into 12. It's a very, very simple procedure. Instead of playing strings one, two, and three with these three fingers, play strings two, three, and four. Okay? So, for example, the first pattern becomes somber rendition of the picking pattern and a different melody, a very different expression of the same chord. Now, um, if you're playing this F chord, you still have to play strings 1, 2, and 3 because you need your thumb for the fourth string. But you can play this F, okay, the barred F chord, and then your thumb plays the sixth string, and then you can play strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay, instead of... Again wholly different expression of the same chord. So there you have it. Now you can also alternate between playing this F chord and this F chord and then you have 24 variations of the pecking patterns. And so you see, fingerstyle rhythm patterns are endless. You can variate on the same patterns to your heart's content, but that Let's save that for future lessons, okay? So um, before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to keep up with this ongoing series. Now that it started, it's never going to end as I promised at the beginning and go download the tab. The link is in the description. Go download the tab from the website. It's for free. Everything is for free on Lick and Riff, but if you want to give something back, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. You can't miss it and everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making these lessons, especially for you guys and girls to enjoy. Now, now, don't forget to share this lesson with everybody you know who wants to play guitar with your family, your friends, your cousins, your, your grandparents, your imaginary friends, your dogs, your enemies. Anyone has a right to learn guitar for free right here on Lick and Riff, so why not spread the word and share the love. So, in the meantime, you go practice this and I'll see you in the next lesson. Let me know how it goes and next week we're going to learn some intermediate patterns. So it's going to be tasty. I'll see you next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.